New Envy Thermal V2 bars. Oh man, finally. I'm definitely going to be putting these on right now. I've been riding without T-bars for years. And T-bars were their first thing I loved to ride. I love T-bars. I love the feel of it. It was perfect for Flatland. I do like the back sweep and the design on the Union bars and the Reaper bars, but something about me and old school T-bars. Whoa. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to be putting these on. I have a pair of the silver on my flat scooter ready. I was going to put the black one on, but I cut them too short like an idiot, so I'll be giving these away. So somebody made it. Me not being a good mechanic, someone made it. We have four colorways the Thermal V2 bars come in. Black, slate, bronzed, and the silver that I put on this. Look how nice this looks. So another big reason why I put them on is because I actually need to ride a little higher. Being injured, having that herniated disc that I had. You guys know I've been out for about a month now. I'm going to try to roll around today and see what's good and take it easy. But I used to ride 25 inches tall, including the clamp. Since these bars come super tall, basically 28.4 inches, as close as 28 and a half inches tall, I'll be riding 27 inches tall with the clamp. So a little higher, it might look a little different in the footage, but having a lot of stress on my lower back, gotta bring this up a little bit, at least while I'm healing. Let me give you a quick little rundown on the Thermal V2 bars before we get out in the streets right now. These bars come 28.4 tall, with a width of 26.4 wide. I actually didn't even realize that. That's pretty wide. Maybe 26? Oh, maybe this is 26. Most bars come 24. This comes 26, that's crazy. I'm used to riding 24, okay. They come 26.4 wide. They're available in four colors, the black, slate, silver, and bronze. I'm looking into riding the black and the silver. You let me know in the comments what your favorite color is, and that will decide what goes on my other scooter. The flat one, I'm definitely going to be putting black, but on my park, everyday street scooter, you tell me what color I should ride. You have a sick design in the front right here. Simple, classy, and the sickest part, this is the, definitely the sickest part. The sickest part about these bars is that they come with free TPR grips. Come on, it's so sick. You just, you literally get them ready to go, cut them to your size. And the reason why I was running union bars, aluminum bars, titanium bars is to, just to cut the weight. Those bars are super light, super strong, but the thermal bars are now an oversized bar that weighs only 2.2 pounds. These are staying on my scooter for sure, at least for a bit. I got the silver on right now. I did not even realize I was riding 26 something wide. Maybe that's why it feels crazy. That feels good though. Let me know in the comments what style bar you ride and why. Do you ride a T bar? Do you ride a Y bar? Do you ride a bar with gussets? And let me know a true reason why you ride it. Do you just like the way it looks or is there a preference in how it rides and how it feels? I'm gonna push around Chapel Hill right now and see how my back feels. Hey, yo, go press it up to me. I'm gonna give you one more chance to shut up. All right. Yes, you just a slacker. I'll see you later, bro. <laughs> All right. It's been a while since I've been in the streets. First day back, I mean, it's gone normal. All right, so pushing around right now, this actually feels pretty good. Especially with the wide bars. I actually ride 24. I probably will cut them, but for cruising right now, healing, I mean, this feels pretty good. Dude, I've been out for a month. I haven't even jumped. So we're gonna try to see if we can post up somewhere. Maybe do a couple flat tricks. No jumping yet. My back has been so wrecked and I re it three times, so I'm not trying to start over. I've been going at it for a month. I took a one month break. I gotta be real careful. I don't wanna go backwards. I miss riding. I think I'm gonna check out that parking lot. Usually parking lots have a pretty decent floor. One more look at the Envy Thermal V2 bars, the silver, with the grips that come right on it. You got the clear TPR grips with the thermal logos peeking through right there. Such a fresh looking color. I definitely wanna put, see these lines right here? I'm gonna use these and do a couple of balance tricks. See if I can at least do four balance tricks and doing three panels. Let's start off with a peg wheelie. Oh, hang ten would be sick. Just gotta keep my back nice and straight. There it is, like a peg nose manual half lash. Or two. I think I'm gonna do another peg wheelie, but with a bar spin. Let's see if we can get it. <laughs> nice and gentle, nice and easy. I mean, just doing that feels good. I haven't been riding in so long, and even the times I've been 
crazy hurt. I've gotten knee surgery and I still rode two weeks after the surgery. Feels good to be back, at least cruising around for now. I think I might wait two more weeks before I really start jumping and pulling and stressing out my lower back. Just Oh, you know what I need? I actually need something. I need a white HDMI cable. Let's see if Target has it. Short, too short, Never mind. Just gonna mess around a little bit this little parking lot right here and i can't wait to ride street check out this spot we've been here before on the channel we got cool little down ledge thing mani pad nice backdrop oh it's been crazy long since i've done that maybe a compass Talk to me. Are you in New York? Nah, I'm pushing around the sticks. Oh, because your Instagram picture that you just put up about 15 minutes ago looks like you were somewhere in Flushing because you got the one way sign. You like the whole city buses. <laughs> Maybe in a few months. When you don't ride for a month, you appreciate the small little things and pushing around feels really good. This video is more of an introduction to the new Thermal V2 bars and a fill-in to what's going on with me. You guys know Kenny's been the star of the channel. Thanks to him, we'll be able to get some cool content. And I'll be announcing the first giveaway, four giveaways this month. The first giveaway will be announced in the beginning of the next video. And the next video will be going with Kenny. He's gonna be sending a brand new trick. So hopefully I can help him out with that as best I can. And if you guys are interested in the giveaway, basically how it's happening, I'm giving away a SolGuard suitcase, a Boost Mobile phone, a Prodigy Complete, and my old camera setup with the GH4, the Joby tripod, and the Joby Wavo. All I ask is for you to subscribe to the channel and just actively comment and let me know, fill me in on what you're doing, what you're thinking, how you like this channel. And I'll just be picking random people, four random people throughout the month of December to give these prizes to in that order, with the grand prize being the camera. A two, over a $2,000 camera setup. It's the one I used before this setup. And hopefully in the next two weeks, I can start messing around, actually doing some tricks, jumping around. And I'm looking forward to riding the streets. It's been a while since I rode street. I have a couple of cities in mind that I want to get to to explore. So I hope you look forward to that. We've got a lot going on the channel. I'm trying to hit 650,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So with your help, sharing these videos, sharing with your friends, letting people know that I'm doing giveaways and giving back to you guys and just trying to make some good entertainment for you guys. That's going to help this channel move. Hope you enjoyed this nice filler video. It's kind of how I see it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.